Hello. Hello, hello. Let's see. Make sure I am good here. <clears throat> Hi, Deborah. Your alarm worked. <laughs> I'm glad that you said it. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Karen. Good. You guys are here. Just wait for a couple more to jump on. As you can see, I have uh, a little diagram here. Um, if you want to take a snapshot of that. You might want to use it. I'll have it on my blog tomorrow with um, the other details and measurements for tonight. <clears throat> Hi, Amy. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're excited to see. Hi, Patricia. Thank you for those shares. Big capital letters. I appreciate that. Um, I'll wait for a couple more people to get on. I hope everybody's having a good night. Good day. I've been busy this week. Even though I'm home, I'm home not working, uh, except for actually things I have to do in the house and my stamping up stuff. Um, hi, Colleen, you received the beautiful card. Oh, you're welcome. You won your, you received your prize patrol. I'm glad. Thank you for the capital letter shares. Thank you, Deborah. All the likes, loves, comments, the shares, as always. Sharing your video to my video, to your my Facebook Live, to your timeline, um, and your crafting friends is just a small way of, uh, it's a small, it's a non-costly thing to do, but it is a big way of helping me out. That's how I wanted to word that because that is truly the way it is. It, your shares and your comments and your likes really help me out. And if you share during the live, you never know who might pop on. So I appreciate that very much. And the capital letters, that just helps me see it quickly when I'm going through and getting your names ready for the share in the comment boxes. So anyway, we have quite a few on now. So you might want to snapshot this, otherwise it will be uh, loaded to my blog tomorrow, so you can always head back there. Actually, tomorrow I have a little bit of a busy day and I won't be home for a good portion of it. So this may get on my blog late tomorrow night or early Saturday. And I also will tell you this is something that is going to go in my Etsy shop. So if any of you are on my newsletter, I've already sent it out and I've sent the link to my Etsy shop. If you're not on my newsletter, the, it's in the description. There's the link to join it in the description. I will be posting soon my Etsy shop as well, but I only have two things in it right now, which is what I noted in my newsletter. So I'm working toward photographing and doing little snippet videos so that I can get that little shop up and running. Okay, so let's get started. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Anybody that might be new watching, maybe not commenting, but listening, my name is Antoinette Bay. I'm with the Paper Papillion, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Limbrook, New York. I've been a demonstrator for a mm, long time, since, since 2009, but only in these past uh, 11 months of COVID. Um, I hate to say it, but it's been the time that I've been able to come to you weekly, um, with lives and be a little bit more creative in the things that I'm doing. So let's move this over to the side. Now I left this here because I already cut this. Um, I cut it and I really, I really should have cut it in front of you, but um, just so you know how I started it. I started off with a one and a half, one and a half inch, this is a six by six. So from the left, I, I cut at one and a half, and then I cut at three by three, the next piece, three by three, and then these pieces were three, so you have a three by three square here, and then these 
are each one by three. And then you're left with another one and a half inch strip. So each one is a one and a half inch square. So that's basically how you cut your uh, designer series paper for this six by six one sheet wonder. Now I found this online and I loved it. So I put my dies from Pierce Blooms in my brand new stamp and storage uh, magnets and it works beautifully. The only one that doesn't fit is this little bow, bow. So I just threw that in there. And then I wanted to show you how I package it in these. I got these from Tailored Expressions and I keep the the name of it inside here so that when I need to sell this, when it retires, I have this for whoever purchases it and it goes back in the case it came from. <clears throat> I pre-cut, I went ahead and did a lot. I'm gonna be using this die set a lot. I think I mentioned that the first time I used it. So I pre-cut a lot of the colors that are in this paper, which is the paper from Celebration. So all the colors that are in there, I pre-cut all the pieces uh, more than once, I believe. So they're all stacked in here. <clears throat> Just FYI, in case you're curious on um, how I store some things, I thought I'd show you that since I just did that today. And I'll put that aside. I pre-cut everything, so as you know, we will not be using this tonight unless I forget something. So I'm just gonna put this on the side as well. And then we're using the In Bloom that matches those dies. And for just some splatter, rather than using the marker and going like this, I am using this little splatter that's in Forever Fern stamp set. So if you have this set and you want to do some splattering and not use the marker to do it, you can always use this, and that's what I did. We're using just two stamp ink pads, Night of Navy and Rococo Rose. And I'll tell you, this Rococo Rose is getting more use because of this paper than it has in the whole two years that I've had it almost, because this color is going to retire in June. So um, with all of Stampin' Up's colors this year, it really lends itself well to, to all the papers. Well, a good portion of the papers. Let me put this on this side. And then this is from Celebration. And I'm sure you've seen it around a lot, but we are using the paper from here. We're using one in particular that's already cut up. This is the pattern that I chose to go with right here. And on the back, it has this stripe, but we're only using the pattern side. I was going to use this big, the, the bigger flowers, but then I thought it kind of got lost. I needed more, I needed more going on on the, on the, in the white space. So I chose that pattern instead. And I'll just put this to the side as well. Now you've already got all my stamps on blocks and what we're doing tonight is we're making a gift set so it's going to be a set of four cards and it will go in a gift box so I'm going to take the first card right here and I have all the everything cut like I said everything will be on my blog possibly tomorrow uh, but like I said I have a busy day tomorrow I'm going to be out of the house most of the day and so this is four and a quarter by 11. So I may not get to this blog post until late tomorrow night or Saturday at some point, but this will get there, get on there eventually. So now those little one and a half by one and a half inch squares are going to get adhered to this three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch piece of petal pink. So this is Rococo Rose, Rococo Rose cardstock and petal pink. And I'll get my adhesive and it's just about to run out. So I have a new one right here. And I have my adhesive sheet, uh, silicone mat. And we'll put all those to the side. So all of these little squares are getting adhered to And I'm not going to put it down real tight yet. I should probably use liquid glue for this. 
so I can move them around, but I think if I don't press too hard, it'll be fine. And I could see already that I need to move this over. I'm too close to the middle. I can always trim down the edge if I need to, but what? You got stuck. Okay. Okay, let's see, have the paper, just need to order the bloom set with dyes. Yep, it's on my list, along with lots of other things. I'm sure, me too, Deborah. me too. Aw, thanks, Ruth. I just read your comment too. Thanks for joining. I'm glad you're here again. Speaking of Ruth, I need to set up, Ruth is one of my local friends and crafters and we do crafters retreats and I haven't had one in a while with the holidays and I was just thinking to myself that maybe I want to do another one but I'm not a hundred percent sure right now how things are honestly I haven't been watching the news but I don't think things are that great again um, so we'll see I'm just trimming down the edge of a couple of sides here because there there's too much showing um so i was thinking like maybe in the middle of march late march i'll have another crafters retreat i'll put it in my newsletter so be on the lookout for that i just have to reach out to the location i still can't have it back in the original place that we used to have it in in a church uh in the in the um because they 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 have children there and they need 48 hours to clean and all that and they don't want to do it and I understand that so now I'm going to get so I have all four of my squares on and now I'm going to put this down with some dimensionals oh before we put this down almost forgot I need to stamp so let me get the stamp and the rococo rose so for this one I'm using what looks like a daisy and I'm gonna stamp in Rococo Rose right up on top. And then let me get an idea of where I'm gonna put this. And then right about here. Yes, I want to do a crafter's retreat whether the right time and whenever the right time is. Yep, Ruth too. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm gonna look into that. Oh, you see, I should not pay attention to comments while I'm um inking, but that's okay. We'll get covered with these little dots that I mentioned, the little splatter pieces. So I'm inking it up once and I'm just kind of splattering around, okay? Just sort of splattering around the flower a little bit. Yeah, see, covers it right up, but I do need to pay attention, All right? I don't wanna mess this up. Okay, let's close this up. And now I could put dimensionals behind here. This will go quick, even though we're doing four cards, it'll go pretty quick because <clears throat> everything is already die cut. Now, this is very labor intensive because of all the die cutting, just FYI. As most of my things, when I do kits and things like that, I was thinking about that today, that <clears throat> in all my training that I have done for Stampin' Up, with not with Stampin' Up, but people that actually train on uh, on this stuff. Like for instance, if any of you know Rhonda Wade, I took her training for a long time and then Wendy Cranford had some training as well. And so does my upline, Erica Serwin, who by the way has reached her 1 million in Stampin' Up sales. So woohoo, Erica Serwin, she's my upline. And she's the queen of 3D projects. And um, anyway, with all my training with these three ladies, I have learned that die cutting, not punching, punching is fine, but die cutting should really be limited when we're offering these kits to go because of how labor intensive it is. And it truly, truly is. But I don't know. 
I just haven't been able to do it. I like it. <laughs> Maybe because I'm not doing hundreds that I don't mind. Um, I'm not doing hundreds of kits. I'd like to be doing hundreds of kits, but at that point I'd probably still be doing die cutting, but I'd get some help for sure if I was at that point. Um, oh, I did this the wrong way. So now I'm just taking the leaves and the flowers and I am talking too much, so I forgot to tell you what I'm doing, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm kind of folding the leaves to the flowers here and now I'm gonna put some on the bottom with glue dots. Let's see. When are you receiving her million dollar card? I thought you, as soon as it, I saw it, I thought of you. Oh yeah, I loved it. Oh my gosh, Stacy, you're so right. I loved that card. If I was getting a million dollar card, a, a card congratulating me on my million dollars, I probably would have liked to have received that card. Very much so, it's very Erica. Very Erica. So just for those of you that don't know, um, Erica received a beautiful card. Okay, so hold on, hold that thought. Now you see how I have all my pieces here? I'm glad I have things punched out because I need a big circle for the center here. So let's get that and hope that I have a big one cut out, die cut. But anyway, she, whenever you reach a million dollars, and I've spoken about this before because I've made some of those cards for myself um, as special keepsakes for my daughter. Um, whenever you reach a million dollars, Stampin' Up, you know, they treat you like a million dollars. And one of the things they do is send you um, a special card made just for you. And it's one of those, you know, keepsake cards. And she got a beautiful one today using um, the, the other celebration paper, the black, a uh, flower and field that I've used a lot. And she got a beautiful card using that paper. Okay. There's the center. Oh gosh. All right. Let that dry for a second. And now we'll put the center on this one. Oh, that's for the inside. So this is gonna be for the outside. I have my glasses on my head and they're doing me absolutely no good on my head because I can't see. So let's get those glasses on my eyes and I'll be able to see what I'm doing. So after my live, I'm waiting for my daughter to get here. She has my car and she's going on a little trip, so she is coming home to bring me my car, and then I have to drive her back to her apartment at like 8.30, 9 o'clock, to, because she's leaving early in the morning, at like 6 in the morning, so... Um, now I'm taking what looks like a starfish and I'm going to cut a piece off because I'm going to use it on this flower like a like leaves on this little one. I didn't want to use the bigger ones like this. I didn't want to use those. So I'm going to take a piece of glue dot and stick that right behind there. Okay. So that's a little trick. I think I've used it before on a different project. Okay, so now we have the big flower, the little flower, and then this flower is for the inside. So when you reach, you have your stamp set all planned out, right? Oh, yeah, no. I won't reach my million dollars for a million years, Deborah. I'll tell you a little story. I dropped as a demonstrator. Um, I may have I may have told this story before. I dropped at a, as a demonstrator um, after I don't know eight years. I think 
just for a short time. It wasn't for long. It was three months just so I could join under somebody else, uh, under Erica. And it wasn't because I had a falling out or anything with my upline, original upline. It was just that I needed um, someone who was um, doing it as a business more so than a hobby um, because I needed to learn what to do, how to do it, how to, I did everything wrong prior to, um, and it's not because I, I never asked, I'm using some glue now, I never asked my upline how to do it as a, uh-oh, I lost you guys on my, uh, on my screen, and I'm hoping that you're still there. Sorry, I'm having internet issues in my house again, and I haven't had the patience to, I think I'm gonna have to stand so I can see whether or not I'm still live with you guys. Uh, I hate when this happens, sorry. Okay, you guys are still there. I'm standing up, so I might be a little bit louder. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue so the story was, I never asked, but I knew that Erica already had a very strong business going and I knew I wanted to learn from her. And being that I had worked for the airline industry, I was able to travel and attend events. So I bit the bullet and I dropped and then I rejoined under Erica. So I dropped for about three months. And I'm still good friends with my former upline. It's just that I needed a little bit more. Um, and my upline at the time had small children too. So she was really, and working a full-time job. So anyway, so any sales that I had prior to dropping went away. And not even that I was close but whatever I did have went away and I started from scratch. But I'm happy I did that. It's worth it for me. And I've made some really good friends being on this team, which is really nice. Okay, so I stamped. Happy birthday. You really are the best. And now I'm going to adhere it. I feel so out of sorts. Adhere it right on top of the flower. Okay. Right about there. And then I'm going to take this one. And on this one, I'm going to put a glue dimensional behind it and add it like that. So there, that's our finished product for the outside. Let's just put this on the inside. And now this other piece that I used, actually for this one, let me see. I used a smaller flower, so for this one, I'm going to take these leaves, and I'm going to put glue dot behind there, and we'll want those leaves to be a little bit shorter. Adhere that to the inside, and I'm definitely running out of adhesive. Now I'm not doing the envelopes tonight, but the envelopes will get something like this as well. Okay, so this is card number one. Oh, there's the red line. Time to go. Goodbye. And I already had this one ready. I think this is the way it goes, isn't it? Oh, it goes this way. Okay. Now, I'm sorry I'm not really seeing your comments now that I don't have you up on my computer, on my laptop. Okay, so there's number one in this gift set. We'll put them all out later. But for now, we'll get going with card number two. Okay. And we'll put these extras on the side. 
I'm going to see, I'm going to try to get you guys going again on my computer because it really bothers me that I can't see what's happening. Uh, it's still not going. All right. Oh, goodness. It's been a problem all week. It's been a big problem all week, my internet. Uh, and it's obviously not, not going well. Okay. Now we're going to take this one. Now we have all these die cuts. Now this is that three by three square on that, from that piece of paper. Here's the three by three. So we used these four pieces. So we're up to the three by three. And that will get adhered to the top here. Okay. Are the are these are done with six? Yes, six by six piece of designer series paper. Um, maybe you came in after I showed this, but this will be on my blog. And this is a six by six piece of paper, and these are the dimensions. One and a half, three by three, three one by threes, and one and a halfs by one and a halfs. Isn't that amazing? I don't know who thought of that, but it was genius. And now I'm going to stamp the sentiment, you are amazing, because whoever created this little six by six layout is amazing to me. And I'm just gonna stamp that here, okay? And Knight of Navy. And then I'm going to take the Rococo Rose and add a little splatter. I'm actually gonna use the back of Oop, a little too much splatter. Okay. And then this is the insert. So let's just fold that up. And get the insert in there. And then this will get, um, now there's denim ribbon. We have denim ribbon and I will tell you that mine is old denim ribbon and I'm pretty sure it's the same. This is many years old and I think it's the same ribbon so I'm going with it um, that we used to have and they brought it back. So it was in my buy one get one sale and I took it out as soon as I saw that there was denim, denim ribbon in the new catalog, the annual catalog. So I took that and I'm going to adhere some tear and tape right across here. Oh, let's see. So I'm so glad that I had it in my stash. However, this is the first time I'm using it in many years. Haven't used it at all. And I like it, it is very thick but it's flat, so it's manipulable. Man I can manipulate it. I don't know if that's even a word, manipulable. Manipulatable, I don't know. I don't know if it's a word. Okay, there we go. And then we'll just pull that here and we'll take some of our white twine And I'm going to put some tear and tape back here as well. And we'll typo with the white twine. And I'm going to knot it. I can just get it through my thumb, my fingers. There's a knot, and then we'll just wrap that up. 
We'll leave it alone for now and we'll put dimensionals behind. Let's see. Yes, who said that? Nora, that little splatter stamp. Yep, it's from that stamp set that I showed when we first came on, Forever Fern. Forever Fern stamp set, that's where that's from. Notice how I'm being very gentle with the dimensionals today. I'm not putting millions on. Oh, I almost forgot. Why do I keep forgetting that I have to do the stamping on here? So now we're going to take, where is my silicone mat? The silicone mat, and this time we're going to use a different flower. And we're going to randomly stamp once again. So we'll take, we'll go down here. I'm gonna do a little bit better of a job on that. And then here. So the last two nights I've been, um, I got Hulu because I'm like running out of things to watch and I'm down here at night working on some crafting and I'm running out of things to watch that interest me on like Netflix and Amazon Prime. So I got Hulu because I knew that I can get a trial with Hulu for 30 days. And I wanted to watch This Is Us because I don't watch regular TV anymore. Okay, we're done with that splatter. I don't watch regular TV anymore. So I don't see it when it's on. I don't even know what night it's on. So I decided to get it and I've already finished all the episodes that are out so far. It took me two, two nights of crafting and watching. Um, that show is just a constant tearjerker. I love it but it is just a constant tearjerker. It's so well written. And now we can cut this ribbon here. Let's see, cut that down a bit. Okay. Now we can do our flowers. Okay. Anybody else watch that show? It's really a tearjerker every week. I won't talk about what goes on on it for anybody that hasn't seen it and wants to see it, but I think this is season five. So if you're looking for something on to watch and you don't watch regular TV and you can handle shows that are very emotionally charged which this show is, in my opinion, then you might want to get Hulu or whatever you have in your area. Well, Hulu, everybody can get, right? Uh, this one's going to go here. Uh, Nora, I just saw your comment come up. Yes. You love it. Me too. So I, but this whole season's been going on and I only decided the other day that I was going to go get my free tri trial. So as you can see, I'm just putting together some of these flowers. They're just random. There's so many in this die set that you could pick whatever you want out of it and, and make any of these cards. There's just so many different flowers in it. So this one's going to go on the inside this one, I am going to put some tear and tape behind it because it's going to sit on top of ribbon. So I want to make sure that it's going to be secure and tear and tape will take care of that for me. Probably don't need it. You could probably just use glue dots, but I like the security of tear and tape against the ribbon in my, especially since one of these cards is going to go to a share and one of them is going to go to a commenter from last week's live. 
Okay, so that one's gonna go down first and it'll go right about, I wanna get it positioned right so it's not on top of the words, okay. And then this one will go down here. So I'm gonna put some glue behind there. And then I'll wind up putting some dimensionals behind at some point once I have the placement right where I want it. And then this one will go down here. Hi, Patty, I see those big capital letters, my favorite letters, my favorite word when I'm on a live. Thank you. And then, whoops. This will go on here. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to take this one and put it on the inside. And since I didn't put any leaves out here, I'm not going to put any leaves on this one for the inside. I'm gonna keep that theme going for the inside of the card as well. However, we are going to add some rhinestones, um, some gems, if I can find what I did with them. And here they are. So I'm using the Elegant Gems. I'm going to use the uh, Petal Pink Gems for this. So I'll put one here. That's a larger one. And then a smaller one out here, I think. And then a smaller one down here. Okay. And I don't know. That one kind of looks weird sitting out there. Maybe it needs to go here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so there we go. That's card number two. Two down, two to go. Let's bring over card number three. Okay. So for this one, we're going to use those little three three inch by one inch pieces. So here's the diagram. So we just used the three by three and now we're using the three inch by one inch pieces. Okay, so our first card was this, second card was this, third card are these pieces. The only thing you're gonna be left off with is this little half inch piece right here because this is six inches, right? And we only need five and a half length. So this little half inch is all that you're left with when you cut it properly. So you start here and then you move to here and then you're done. Maybe we'll just do that at the end if anybody cares to just see it. Okay, so now let's take this square and I wanna make sure that this is the right way. Yep, here we go. So let's put some adhesive down. We'll go like this. Now I am gonna keep it kind of close to the left and then I'm gonna trim down the side as I did earlier. This one sheet wonder is great. It is great, isn't it? Long time ago, Karen, I don't know if you were watching back then, I did a 12 by 12 one sheet wonder where we actually made the designer series paper ourselves. We stamped, I stamped, and now this is too close. Okay, I'm gonna move it down that way. Okay, so I stamped with, uh, and I've seen, you, you may have already seen it done in other places, but we just stamped a floral set. And I don't recall what set it was. Okay, I messed this one up. Um, too close, um, not close enough, and too close from the bottom. So I'm gonna lift this up very carefully and bring that down a little bit more. And now I'm gonna take my mini trimmer that I had a moment ago, and I'm gonna cut down this side. So it's very thin, yep. And then here, 
in here. I only want a hint of that petal pink showing. Okay. So here I'm gonna, you can go back. It might've been like last summer that I did that one sheet wonder with 12 by 12. But if you look in my blog, Karen, if you weren't around, you'll find it somewhere in there on my blog. And now we'll put dimensionals behind here. And here they are. And it was fun to do that. It was, I think we, I think it was nine cards out of the 12 by 12 one sheet wonder. We got nine cards out of it. So out of this six by six one sheet wonder, we're getting four. Oh, and here we go. Got to do the inking again. So now we're going to take this little stamp set and ink up some of these flowers. And I want to get an idea of where this is going to go. So right here is good. And close to it. And I don't like how I did this one, so I'm gonna go over it very quickly. And then we'll do some splatter again. Okay. All right. Now we can put this on. I'm gonna put it up higher, up a little bit. No, down a little bit, right about here. Okay, and now we're gonna put these together. Now, I'm gonna bend these a little bit. Squeeze these a little bit before I glue them together. Now this one's gonna get adhered to the other with a dimensional, let's see, right there. And this goes right on top. And then we'll put the center. And then we're gonna take a blue and a, a Knight of Navy and a Seaside Spray. And we're gonna add that to the back. Oh, let me cover this before an accident happens with glue dots. Oh, actually, what I'm going to do is just put some adhesive about where I want this flower. And I want this flower to be right about here. So right in here is where I'm going to put some adhesive instead. And then I'm going to layer the leaves. And like that. And then again on the bottom. more adhesive okay and then this will go down I'm gonna put some adhesive I'm thinking I might need some tear tape back there and we'll see I might change that up to tear tape. Yes, and I like the look of this as well, Patricia. I saw your comment come through of the bent flowers. But the thing is, when you're putting it in the gift box, it's gonna have to flatten out anyway. Okay, let's put this on the inside. I'm missing a center missing the center for this one so we'll grab that in a second and a glue dot for this oh i hear my daughter's here so maybe i'll get lucky and my husband will drive her back he he maybe maybe i doubt it he's tired he went to work i'm home all day okay that will go here, and it only takes 
At this hour, it'll only take 25 minutes to get there and back. Less than an hour, I'll be home. Okay, there's that. Now let's get that packet because I'm missing the little light blue insert and I wanna be sure that I complete it. And I'll take, I think I might put like a little flower center on this. Let's, oh no, let's go with the dot. I see one right here. We'll go with the dot. So I'm glad I have all these little things cut. Otherwise I'd be running to the dye machine. And let's see, this goes in the center. And now the whole thing, um, adhesive gets adhered. So don't forget to keep sharing. If you're just hopped on, don't forget to share the video. I really appreciate it when you do that. So here's this, but ah, I almost forgot the sentiment. So on this one, we're going to do that happy birthday again. I'm gonna sit for a second and clean this off. Cause I only want the bottom half. I want it to say you are the best. So I have a, um, I have post-it and I'm gonna cover up the happy birthday part with the post-it. And then I'm gonna take my Demet, uh, Night of Navy ink and ink this up. So it's only catching, inking the, the words on the bottom, not the top, see that mess? And then I'll stamp it and then we'll cut that out. Okay, so there's your masking trick for that, which I've done before. So it's not really new, but I need to give this some um, space. So I need a, let's see. I need to give a little room on this side and then a little room on this side because it has to get tucked under. And then here we go with the little trimmer. And I'm gonna trim this as close to the words as possible. That's pretty close. And now I'll do the top and do the same, as close to the words as possible without actually cutting the words. Perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna put a strip of dimensionals behind here. And to do that, I'm going to take these little ones. I already have some of it cut off. So we'll take that little strip and put that behind here. And I may need some more. So we'll cut that again. So I'm taking a little bit more here from these mini dimensionals and cutting a little strip off so I can add a little bit to the end. And then I'm going to give this a little flag, go right up the center, and then have that little side cuts meet in the middle, and you have your flag. It's very, very subtle, but it's there. And then that will go right here. Now I didn't put any gems on my original, and we're gonna leave it alone for now. And we can come back to it. So that's card number three. Hopefully you liked it. Um, okay. There's card number three. Now we're up to the last and final card. And then we'll box it up. Okay. See, it's going quickly. All right. Let's move this over. I love these dies so much. I really, really do. Let's put this on the inside. And 
let's fold this over. Okay. And now we're going to take this last final strip. So this is it. This is that five and a half by one and a half, one and a half by five and a half inch. So there's your little half inch that's cut off. Okay, so that's how that went. And now this is slightly, the petal pink piece is slightly larger than this one and a half by five. It's five and a half inches long, but it's slightly larger than one and a half. Maybe it's one and five eighths of an inch. Okay, and then that will go, hmm, my card's a little crooked. And then that's gonna go all the way to the left here with just like um, a quarter, an eighth, an eighth of an inch peeking out from the left, okay? And before I put it together, I know there's a little overhang. So I gotta cut that little overhang off before I keep going, otherwise it will drive me nuts. There we go, it's off. Okay, now we can put the flowers together. So we're gonna use that pretty bow on this one. Haven't used it. Oh, I forgot a very important part to this. Um, I have to do one piece of die cutting. Luckily, the die cut machine is right next to me. But I need a, hold on. Gonna get a piece of Knight of Navy and the die that I need. So, mm, I think I need a piece of white too. Okay, so that's okay. It's two pieces, we'll cut them real quick. Uh, if I look in my white packet, do I have it cut? Oh, I have one cut. I have the white one cut. So that's this one. So for the navy blue one, I just need to cut from the tasteful labels. So from this die set, I used this one and it's got the stitching around it. So let's get that done and I'll just bring over my mini and we'll get that done real quick, okay? I love this little mini. Look how cute it fits in the screen. It's so tiny. And we'll get that going. Hopefully I'm not shaking you guys too much. Oh, hi Dorothy, thanks for the share. I appreciate that a lot. A lot, a lot. I'll be calling a drawing shortly after we're done with this live for last week's shares and comments. So that's gonna go on here, but first we're gonna stamp the words, uh, you mean so much to me in Night of Navy. And I'm going to do that a little bit to the left because the right is gonna get cut off a bit. Okay. So I'm going to cut a small amount here, actually, maybe, oops, I went off. So I cut a little bit off the edge and I'm also gonna cut a bit off of here as well. And then I'm gonna put some dimensionals. Oh, here's that little flower I was looking for earlier. Did I put something on it? I did, I think, yep, I did. All right, now we're gonna put some dimensionals behind here. Hopefully I've cut it enough. And I am gonna put like four on here. Okay. Okay. And then that will go right there. And then we're going to adhere this to here. Okay. Mm, 
and it's coming up about an inch from the bottom and about a half inch from the left and there and now we'll put our little bow right there and a cute little paper bow hi Lori thanks for the share I really appreciate that let's see And that's going to go right there. Now let's put our flowers together. So this big one, big little circle, is going to big little circle, is going to go right in the center. And then we'll glue the put some adhesive here. And then on these two little ones, we'll glue those together. And then this one is going to go here. And then the blue is going to go here. Aren't these colors so fun together? They really are a lot of fun together. That's that. And then we're going to curl these a little bit and take this fat leaf and glue dot. Once you have this all die cut. Now this is how my kits come too. Oh yeah, I got to show you my kit for my February kit, don't I? I have to show you that. Um, this is how my kits come also. They come with all the die cutting done for you and all you have to do is this. I create the videos that look just like this. They move a little bit quicker um, than they do now because they're done individually. Each one is a different video. If you haven't purchased my kits to go yet, each one, it's called Papillion Paper Pack, but each card has its own video. So, and you know, it's nice because you can fast forward to, oh, this one I have to put on, I'm not using this one, I'm gonna use this. So everything comes die cut for you just like this. And cut and scored, the only thing that you really need is your basic tool kit. Oh, this goes on the blue one, which is your adhesives. Your you, you need a, at least a black ink. You need some inks, but at least a black one. And sometimes I do Versa marking uh, with embossing powder, and that's always by choice if you'd like to do that or not. Let's add this little pink one. I almost forgot about that little guy. Um, but yeah. And you get ribbon. Uh, mine are not product based in that you have to purchase a stamp set or a die or a punch in order to get it. Everything is cut for you or it doesn't come with a half a pack of paper or a quarter pack of paper. It comes with the paper already cut for you. That's how I've been doing my kits and I haven't changed that yet. And I, I may in the future, but not right now because I kind of enjoy doing all this. So I'm just going to keep doing it. Now this little one's going to get a little, that little one that, that one that looks like a starfish. I cut the last of that right there. And let's layer this together. So this goes here like that. And I'm trying to see, nope, I did not. We're going to use adhesive here. And I might lift that dimension a little bit just to get this underneath there. And that's going underneath there like that. Okay. So I will show you the February kit when we're done here and before we do a drawing. And then this is going to go on here. Let's see. I think I want it like that. Yeah, I'm going to put some adhesive. Uh, liquid glue behind here because these two pieces are going on top of the paper and then I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals right here here and here and that will sit right there like that make sure that glue stays down and then we'll put this one down here like that, and I'm gonna put a dimensional right behind there. 
and then this is going to sit on the paper, this portion, so that just gets some liquid glue. Lots of different glue mediums, right? Oops, and that fell off. Oh, Got to do that again. This is why you need a mat. See all that glue right there? I don't want that to get anywhere. Uh, the silicone mat that I am not using at the moment, that I should be. And I am going to get it. I'm actually going to take a piece of paper because I don't want that glue getting on my card and just stick it right here for now. And that goes there like that. The bow is from the Pierced Bloom set. That is what we're using tonight, Dorothy. This is the bow to that set, okay? And this is all the flowers that we've been using tonight. They all come from this Pierced Bloom set. And it, it's a bundle, and it comes with this stamp set also, okay? So In Bloom and Pierced Blooms is the die. Hope that helps. Okay, so there's that. Now let's get some, oh, let's do the inside and then we'll get the sequins on. Let's use that flower, that blue one, right here in the center. And we'll put this flower on there. And then we'll use, hmm, I wanted to use a different flower, a different leaf. So I'm gonna get my green leaves, my old olive leaves. I don't want to use what I have there. I want to use the hmm, I have them cut. Yes. Oh, nope, this is the big one. Do I have the little ones? It doesn't look like I do. Okay. So I'm going to take this one and use this one. Whoops, and I'm only gonna use the bottom two for this. Nope, I'm gonna use the top. I lied. Let's get a glue dot going, and then this will go here. So it kind of peeks out all over, and that'll go on here. Oh, shoot, I just broke it. Oh, well, we'll put it down here. Surely that's not bad. There, just like that. And that's card number four. Okay, so we did four cards. Oh, wait, sequins. Uh, not sequins. Some more gems. I'm going to use the frosted gems here. Oh, and I have to bring a card back because I need to put, so this is going to go here. And then another larger one will go about here and a smaller one about here. Okay, that's that. And then I need these butterflies. These are the in color gems, butterfly gems. And I want to put those on, which card did I put those on? Let's see. The first card. I want to put those on the first card. So the first card is right here. So I'm going to take a big one and put it on the sentiment right there. And then I'm going to take two smaller ones and kind of place them around. Let's go here. Maybe that one will go here. And then another smaller one will go about here. For now, that's where I'm putting them. We'll see. Might want to change it later. So this is the one we just did. Let's push everything out of the way here. Move it all over. And get rid of all of this. So there's the little butterflies. You really don't see them that well. Maybe I should use a different color. Maybe I should use the seaside spray. Maybe I'll change that later. We'll see. Um, 
one, two. Uh, three, four. Yep. Wait, I'm trying to see something. I think I screwed something up. Where's my fourth card? Oh, here they are. Okay, so this is the fourth, and this is the one I made tonight. There you go. All right. One, two, three, and four. Can they, can you see them all in camera? I hope. Looks like you can on my end. I don't know if you can. I'm gonna see if I can get you back up on the computer. Uh, video is jumping, but other demos have been doing it also. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's something going on with the the internet world because I've heard the same thing going on. Like a lot of people are having problems um, with their videos lately. Um, but there I am. So yeah, I can see the cards. I came up again. Let me move this out of the way. I can see all four of them. Okay. Okay. Hope you like that. And now as a gift set, I'm going to put them in here with the envelopes, right? And then what I'm going to do is have one of the cards just like this one will be in the front. Okay. And another, these will go in the back. And these two. So that way I have a card showing in the front and the back, right? And let's get this ribbon that I have. Now this is good, like I said, this is gonna be a gift set on my Etsy store. So, let's get that going. And then I found this ribbon today. And the reason why I wanna use this ribbon now is because it's sheer. Let me get it, here it is. Okay, and it's still in the catalog. So it goes, if I could just close this properly, like this, right? So this goes like this, and this goes around like this, and then the bow, you get the idea, right? And you could still see the cards. And then I tie this twine with silver and mo misty moonlight, tie it around and put a little tag. Okay, that's how that would be packaged. But tonight I have to take it out because two of these cards are gonna be called out for prizes. I'll have um, my samples right here, so I'm okay with that. Um, and I'll make more because I wanna have a few sets for my Etsy shop. So I'm going to give away the two of my favorites. Um, let's see, this is one of my favorites and this is a favorite. Okay. And just keep in mind that whoever wins these, the envelope's going to have a little, um, die cut on it too. Okay. So thank you everybody for sharing tonight. You'll be in the drawing for next week, but tonight I'm calling for last week's and before I do that okay I'm gonna put these aside okay see the one with the butterflies that's for the shares and the one with the bow is for the comments so I'm gonna be pulling that shortly okay so we'll do the shares first and then the comments but before I do that I want to show you my project pack so this is how it comes okay my little papillion project pack you'll get the card and it'll have the month on it and then I email the links for the videos and the PDF project sheet. And then when you open up, in case you've never seen this before, when you open up your packet, okay, each kit is numbered. These are the ones that I will be using to make my videos. So they're numbers one, two, three, and four. Everything you need is in there except for the gems and your basic toolkit of adhesives and glue dots and scissors and things you you need like that but everything is cut and scored okay in order to earn that for free 
you need to make a $35 minimum purchase in my online store. The link is in my description by Sunday, January 31st. And then I need two weeks to get my product. The next day I order, I need two weeks to get the product, cut the kits and package them up and mail them out. Now, if you bump your order up to $50, you would get a free celebration item, which means you can include this paper if you wanted. And then if you bumped it up to $100, you would get, oh, and then there's $5 shipping free. So everybody use my host code in the description. There's a $5 shipping fee. Once you use that host code, I'll know that you want the kit for free. You must use that host code. All this information is in my blog. It's in my newsletter. Um, so if you're not on either one, you might wanna jump on and get all the details in case I forget something. But like I said, $35 gets you the kit for free. Um, the only thing you pay for is a $5 shipping fee. It comes in this type of envelope right here. Okay, it's a padded envelope, six by 10. And if you bump it up to $50, then you can get a free celebration item. And then if you bump it up to $100 in my online store, you get the kit for free, then you get free shipping, and you get a bonus card. So right now you get four cards with a $100 or you get a bonus card and free shipping. So this is card number one. I'm going fast. This is number two. This is number three. And let me just show you the insides quickly. That's number three. Here's number one, uh, two, and here's number one. Okay, one, two, three, and four. So I'm using the beautiful paper again. This is a brand new kit using this, this paper in a completely different way than what I used for the January kit. So if you are interested, um, it is available, the deadline to place your online order is Sunday, January 31st. Monday, I place my order for product. Now, all the details are on my blog and in my newsletter. So as I said, if you're not on either one, then you might wanna jump on, but there's also the host code in the description here and the link to my online store and my blog. Okay, first one right here, shares. Let's get that going. I'm back to the small box, folks. Tammy Sands, S-A-N-N-E-S. -N -N -E Tammy Sands, Sands or Sands? Not sure if you're on, but this card is for you. I will announce it shortly. I'll get it on the blog, maybe a little later tonight when I get home from dropping my daughter off. Okay, that's for the shares. Congratulations, Tammy Sands, S-A-N-N-E-S. -N -N -E now for the comments. Let's see, let's get this going in here. Ooh, two. Ooh. Karen Heininger, Karen, Karen is on my team. She is a Papillion Stamper. Congratulations, Karen Heininger. Yay, I have your address. I don't think I have Tammy Sands address. So if you're watching Tammy, please get me your address via a private message, but I will announce it here and I'll try to tag you if I can. So. Anyway, let's bring those cards out again. So I'll put Tammy's name on the inside here, Karen's name on the inside here, and yay, Karen, who's on my team. There we go, all right. Thank you so much for sticking with me tonight. This was a long one, even though um, the cards went quickly. It still was a long video, and I appreciate guy appreciate all you guys, all the likes, loves, shares, comments. Oh wow! I see we have 110 comments. I'm gonna have my work cut out for me responding to all you guys. I love reading your comments, so keep them coming, and I will respond. And thank you for the shares. I really appreciate it. And hopefully we can get some more people to join our group. Okay. Oh, one other thing, I mentioned it before. 
Papillion Spotlight, that is a group of customers who have reached a $150 threshold in my online store. You have to order from my online store. Once you reach that $150 threshold, you get invited into this Papillion Spotlight that I've just created. I have one video in there or ready to go. I tried to post it the other day and it did not post. And I just realized that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I realized that today. So for those that are in that group, you will be getting a video very soon. I just have to figure out what's going on on my internet and some other things. Um, I'm going to post challenges and possibly swaps if we get enough people in the group. So it's a fun group that you might want to join. Um, like I said, once you reach that $150 spending threshold in my online store, you'll be invited. It will be created every year, a new, a new one every year, but the old group will always be there for those members that are in it. So just so you know that. Okay. Anyway, thanks again for joining me. I really appreciate you guys. And I will see you next Thursday at 7 p.m. And if I am have a project to share with you during the week, I certainly will come in and share a project with you. But for now, next Thursday, 7 p.m. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.